Okay everybody, so today I am going to try to reorganize my little art studio corner here. I am in the uh, formal dining room of our house on the main floor, so we it's always been a playroom for the kids, and I was able to move my art stuff up in here, so I'm sharing it with the kids. That's some of my daughter's toys and my son's are on the other side. Um, but I am feeling the need to get rid of things that I don't use so that I can make space for things that I do have. So I just thought I would kind of show you my setup right now and after I am done, hopefully later today, I'll show you the changes that I made. But for now, I'm gonna, I'll just show you what I got here. Um, and I hope that this doesn't get too wobbly because I'm, you know, holding the camera and I hope that it doesn't get out of focus a lot. So I just use a little cheapy, gosh, old Canon to uh, do my videos. So um, I know the quality's not super great, but hey, it is what it is, right? But it is Monday morning and I thought about this all yesterday and I'm just ready to tackle this today. So just real quick, um, in these drawers right here, this is all stamping stuff. I've got ink pads and just some clear stamps and things like that. Um, I'm probably going to leave that the way that it is. Here in these drawers I have um, embellishments that are organized by color. Uh, my brain totally thinks in color whenever I'm working on a project. Um, I don't think, um, especially, you know, when I first, I first, you know, I started as far as paper crafting with rubber stamping and scrapbooking. And um, I used to always have everything sorted by the type of product that it was. And it took me years and years and years to figure out that that's not how I think when I work on something. Um, I think I want to add something red on a page. I don't think I want to add a brad on a page or I want to add, you know, I don't know, a felt, a felt flower. I think, okay, I know I want to add something red. So I open up this drawer because that's where all my red stuff is and then I just pick out, you know, what I want. So anyways, all of these are my color drawers. I got these really awesome little metal tins whenever I was working at my kids' elementary school. One of the teachers was throwing them away, and I've got, you know, brads and um, eyelets and one, and then I've got buttons and another one. So each drawer has two of those tins. This is just kind of the smaller stuff. Um, uh, usually in this one, I've got... I, gosh, my brain just totally shut down. Um, good creep, rhinestones. I keep, try to keep like rhinestones and wires and glitters and this and then ribbon, short pieces of ribbon that are wrapped up in bobbins. And then I've got little pieces of ribbon and then flowers. And then there's just kind of like big spools of ribbon and things like that. And, you know, uh, here's, here's, you know, things that I've picked up on clearance and stuff. Um, so that's, that's what are in all of these. I honestly don't know what's at the very bottom. Um, and then on this side, I used to have my ephemera on this side, and I had all of my ephemera divided up by color as well. I moved that over here on the side, and I'll show you that in a minute. And because I really wasn't using the, if I thought that I would like using ephemera on my pages. And I love looking at everyone's projects that they use it on. But any time that I try to use it, I just I don't like it. I don't like how I do it. It's just not, I want it to be me, but it's not. So I decided to move my ephemera that I've collected under my one of the cabinets and open up this space. And I've kind of started just, excuse me, organizing just, um, I guess, more scrapbooky project life type things in here. I do not know if I'm going to keep it like this. I've got a bunch of stuff that I can actually start putting 
in these and I might just start putting them in here and see if I like it. Um, Cause I just, I am, I don't have a lot of space. I can't expand. Honestly, I don't really want to expand. <laughs> I, I, you know, I want to have my area with the things that I love and with the things that I use. I am pretty much on no buy. I only buy things if I run out. Um, I, uh, don't do my impulse buys anymore really as far as you know things with on that's on sale um, you know I don't go to Michael's and get a big haul um, I just I had to stop doing that because I realized after all the years that I have been crafting I have a massive collection of probably everything that I could ever possibly need for many many years and it's hard because I see oh gosh some of the new stamps and some of the new products, but I'm just like, you know what? No, I, I can't do it. So I'm basically on no buy. I do get a um, Project Life kit from the scrap room, and I use those for um, for my Midori, my little Midori scrapbook type smash book that I have, and in my planner. And I need to start. I need to figure out kind of if I want to start doing a sort of a Project Life album maybe just like with weekly updates or something like that because I you know I do have two little kids and with my first three I had you know it was when scrapbooking was huge um, my oldest is 24 and then my next child's 22 and then I have a 19 year old so that's when scrapbooking was in its heyday like huge huge first starting and I have tons and tons and tons and tons of pages and stuff with them, but I really don't have anything with my younger two because, you know, I kind of started moving on and art journaling and whatnot. And now, of course, I'm wanting to have something for my younger children as well. So, anyways, so that's what's going on right here. So this is basically, you know, stickers and pieces of scrapbook paper that I can use on stuff which I need to be careful with that because I'm really good at saving every little bit and piece and I need to watch that because I don't want these to um, end up being full of pieces of scrap of paper because then I can't won't be able to find anything else so this area is kind of kind of up in the air right now um, down here on the floor I just got a basket of washi and then this is my big stack of images that I have pulled out of magazines. I'm going to do a video on that, how I've kind of just figured out how it's easier for me to go through a bunch of magazines to sort sort through them and pull pages and for my images and my words. I had probably, gosh, I probably had a hundred magazines that I went through in a couple days and um, this is you know I'm kind of I'm ready for the next step <laughs> these actually are more that I need to go through so this tub you know has a decent sized pile of paper that I need to cut images out of so that's oh, really heavy and I'm not even gonna try to move it oh my goodness um, up here I've got my paints in there once again divided by color up here I've got my aqua markers and then my paint markers and on top it's a mess so I kind of want to figure out what to do with that I've got my pens and then here are my words that I have clipped out and right now these are just organized by uh, single words and then sentences and then down here are big you know big strips that's as far as my organizing my words go right now. I don't know if I want to try to divide them up better, but once again, that is going to rely on space. If I can find the space to put another container, um, you know, to to help me so I can organize them more. Which I have another one of these that I could probably just set on top of it. Um, these are just words from whenever I was going through the magazines the other day. Same here. 
paint stuff. Top of my desk is messy right now because I spent the weekend um, working on our menu and things like that. So this, you know, needs to go someplace else. Um, over here, I've got... This just has some ATCs and my cards that I've made. You know, this just has some stuff in it. iCads. These are all little mail-related stamps. Then I've got all my stamp pads, and um, this right here is pretty much a lot of my kind of project life stuff. I've got stickers and one of these, and uh, you know, down here are some pages that I need to put in my collage stuff. So this all needs to be gone through and organized a whole lot better. I have no idea how I'm going to organize any of that stuff. Um, I don't know if I should move some of the stickers and such into my drawers over there that I have by color. Um, I, I just don't know. So, Midori stuff. Um, I got my Creating Art at the Speed of Life book out and my coffee filter so I can do the first um, chapter. We're working through this book in Tanji Baxter's um, Art Journal Emporium online. And then under here, well, my drawer is not going to change. I got everything organized how I like it, and it's working really good. Um, you know, for me, my PH Martins, my distress stains, you know, glue sticks, all of this is working. I'm not really going to mess with this. Then under here are all of my collage pages, my um, collage magazine pages that I have sorted for collage work. I um, used to have faces, like close-up of faces in this one, and then bodies in this one, and I've since combined that into one drawer. And this top drawer are images that I really, 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 really love, and I know that I'm going to want to put them into my collage journal. My special collage journal that, you know, I like really doing really nice pages in. Um, so this is people, this is outdoors, this is vintage, um, words and phrases and sticker letters, flowers, animals and insects, um, bling and objects, so, you know, watches and rings and stuff like that. Background, so it's anything that I think would be great to use as a background, um, especially for uh, postcards that I, the postcard size pages that I like to make, and um, ATCs, and then this is Rebons, which these might go someplace too. So that's under here. I've got my butterfly um, sheets that I cut my big butterflies from, and then just my big 12 by 12 stencils are laying up there because they're just really hard to figure out what to do with. <laughs> Under here, it's nice and messy. I've got a trash can. I've got magazines in the back, which I need to go through those. My W magazines are back there, and those are the ones that are quite a bit larger than a um, regular size magazine. I don't know if I'm going to actually pull images out of them, just because they don't fit nicely in my drawers and the edges get wrinkled. So I might just leave that the way it is. Um, up top I've got the blue bin has stencils in it and pieces of washi tape, or not washi tape, pieces of deli paper that have paint and stuff on them. This is just, uh, you know, recycled items that I use to, for paint and whatnot. Then I have all my acrylic paints in here. I have all my sprays in here and down here. I have um, my watercolors, I've got my oil pastels, my gelatos, my neo twos, and I like all of this the way it is, so I'm probably not going to touch anything here either. And over here is Gracie's drawer, which is nice and crazy, but this is Gracie's drawer where her supplies are. I need to go through that, try to clean it out a little bit for her. and. I need to get some little, she needs some more little bins to uh, help organize her things, <coughs> excuse me, better in her drawer. 
and that will help a lot. And then on this side, I have tubs over here, and they actually go back. There's two rows of tubs. Um, there's paper, there's napkins. Um, oh goodness, just a second. Okay, alrighty, so, um, I, well, I was able to get a drink and uh, had to help my daughter and so I moved the box out of here so we can see back here. I've got, uh, there's a tub that has a bunch of large foam stamps, large letter stamps. Gosh, um, I think that one in the very back has um, just different things for texture, for making texture on my pages. And uh, there's the coffee filters I was wondering about. I thought I didn't have any. <laughs> you have to make a, uh, you don't have to, but for the first project in the Creating Art Speed of Life, you make a color wheel using a round coffee filter. And I was worried that we didn't have any because we've switched over to a cone filter coffee pot. But look, there's my coffee filters. Um, there's more things back there in the back. Honestly, I have completely forgotten what's back there. I think it might have tissue paper in it. Um, I've got, gosh, there's that other tub I forgot about. That tub, that little tub in the back is full of deli paper that has paint on it from other projects. It's full. I don't know if I need to keep that or if I just need to throw that away. I, you know, obviously I had forgotten that it was even back there. <laughs> so I, you know, I, that might be something that just goes because I'm always creating new pieces of deli paper with paint on it and that's just taking up space. Um, and here, these are books that I cut words from or using backgrounds and this has just got just some odds and ends of this and that that I thought might be fun to put on pages because, you know, I like to incorporate just, uh, you know, different things for that create texture and whatnot, even if it pretty much gets covered up, if it creates texture on my page, I like gluing it on there. So this is the cabinet that I'm thinking about completely emptying out, and I'm not really totally sure what I'm going to put in it. I don't know if I want to actually move all of my embellishments and color drawers underneath these two cabinets that I've just showed you and put all of my collage things on the outside drawers because that is what I use. I use those all the time and I think it would be best if I had them out where it's easy for me to get to, um, it's always, I can see it, it's there to out to inspire me, it's not you know, I, it's nice and neat having things behind closed doors, but I need to have the things behind closed doors that maybe the things that I don't always use and have, you know, the things that I do use out in the open. Um, but these are my ephemera drawers, and this is just stuff that I have collected over the past probably six years. Um, you know, the, everything is in here. I, but, I mean, these are just even the squares of paper that I cut arrows out of, if you can see that. Um, you know, doilies, there's pieces of scrapbook paper, there are clothing tags, um, there's, gosh, you know, tags from my kids' stuff, um, you know, parts of cards, like a film strips. It, it, it just, it goes on and on and on. It's kind of overwhelming. Um, you know, here's more tags from clothes. Um, packaging, this is Prima packaging. I've got fronts of cards. People, if people have sent me a card and I like the front, I've saved that because, you know, that could be used in my brain. Gosh, here's tag from Great Wolf Lodge, a wrist bracelet. Um, I have lots of clothing tags. Um, you know, paint samples, stamps. I just really, at first, you know, was so inspired by everyone's collections of all of these things. And 
I have not used anything out of these drawers since I don't know when. So, um, this one is really full. Look, there's even a disc in there. It's got Girl Scout patches. Um, you know, this is a paper ruler. It's got, these are vintage playing cards. You know, I... I just, I just don't know. To me, this is causing me more stress and anxiety <laughs> having all of this stuff. I gotta get up real quick. I'm sorry. I got I was sitting on the floor. Um, just having all of this and not using it and having it take up space. Um, I just, I just don't know anymore. Um, so. This is kind of where I'm stuck as far as what to do with this. Actually, you know, maybe I should put each of these drawers contents in a bag and put it downstairs and if I don't use it, if I don't need anything out of it and don't want anything out of it, then I should just throw it away. Don't they tell you to do that with other things? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a common, you know, um, trying to clean up your house. Um, idea. So I might do something like that. I might just, part of me wants to even just look through this and pull some certain things out. But I don't even know if I want to spend that much time doing that. Um, I do use these, the paint um, cards quite a bit. So I might pull those out. But besides that, you know, and I might try to pull out the pieces of scrapbook paper. But, you know, I love looking at this and it, you know, I, I like seeing all this stuff and it's like, oh, that's so cool. I could use this on whatever. But, you know, I just, I just don't. I don't, I don't. I, that's not, that's not how I create right now. So it's, this is all taking up space. Um, so anyways. That is my big, my big dilemma. I've got just different tapes sitting up on here because I didn't have any other place to put them. And let's see. Um, over here, basket. This basket used to be totally full of magazines and they are all gone now and I just have um, books in there. And then over here in this corner is another mess. Um, on top in this basket I've got, these are all my journals, um, a uh, picture mate, which I picked up at a flea market um, for $10. Um, I've got books all on this shelf. Down here I've got some more books and then these are paper, paper packs. This is stuff that I need to go Are you through. A video? Okay, um, interruption number two. We're doing pretty good though. I've been doing this for a while and so far <laughs> I haven't been interrupted a whole lot. My son is still in bed asleep, so I'm trying to do this really quick before he wakes up. Um, this, oh my goodness, this is, well, these are some Project Life kits. And this is just stuff I need to go through. These are, I have my uh, right brain planner, my um, art journal, and the um, art journal emporium printouts in here so that I can keep them together. And there's some extra stuff in there that I need to clean out. Down here is, my goodness, scrap of paper. This is scrap of paper that I've been hauling around with me for the past uh, 10, 15, 20 years. I purged a ton of it several years ago, probably before our last move. And actually, probably, I think I had a good 12 inch stack of scrapbook paper and I donated it to our Girl Scout Council to use with the inner city troops. And so, you know, if you are purging out your things and you have nice unused paper, anything like that, you know, I highly recommend you to donate it someplace that could use it. Um, you know, some, some charity that works with children, they would be so grateful to get this. Um, 
I'm pretty sure that a lot of the stuff that I donated was used at one of the summer camps. So, um, you know, it's just, it kind of helps, helps to get rid of it when you know that it's going someplace that really needs it. You know, you could, I've also donated a lot of my things, a lot of my stickers to um, my daughter's teacher last year. They needed stickers for the kids. I gave her a big old stack of stickers. Um, you know, you, there's church groups. Um, there are just groups everywhere that help children that could use your supplies. Um, so this is what I have left. I kind of need to probably go through it again because I could probably get rid of a lot of that. Um, more paper. This is just Paula, Paula Phillips, Paula Journal Artista. Oh, wait, which one is it? This is just what I have left of my club scrap stuff, I think. I, you know, don't have a lot. I don't have a lot left. <laughs> oh, you know what? Actually, I think this is it right here. This is it. Um, we always joke about how much club scrap stuff we have. I don't have as much as I thought I used to. This is all kits, scrapbooking kits from the Scrap Room. I absolutely love their kits. I used to get them a long time ago. These are all the ones that I had gotten and obviously haven't used just because I haven't scrapbooked. It's not because I don't like what's in here. It's just because I haven't been scrapbooking. So I am trying to decide if I want to keep these together as kits or if I want to sort them out by color. Um, once again, you know, like I said, my brain thinks in color and since I've got all this stuff, I don't know if I um, should separate it out that I might start using things more or if I should keep it together, you know, how it is because a lot of this stuff coordinates. The, the kits are great because you actually get four different um, lines of products. So there's tons of variety, um, which I love. So, you know, and, and they give them to you sorted by, by that brand, by that line. I don't know if I can get this out with one hand. So, you know, paper and a lot of times the stickers or any of the embellishments actually go with, you know, whatever this line of paper is. So I don't know if I want to divide that stuff out. I just, I don't know. Um, the reality is, is that I haven't been scrapbooking in, gosh, Elliot's four. I haven't done a single scrapbook page for him, and I don't have very many scrapbook pages for Grace. And she's eight. So I, I need to either kick it up and start scrapbooking or I need to divide this stuff out and start using it for other projects. Um, so yeah, if you have any ideas on what I should do or thoughts, <laughs> I would greatly appreciate it because, you know, it's tough and it, it's, you know, I, I don't know if it's scary, but you know, it's like, oh my gosh, should I divide this stuff up? Should I just leave it? Um, you know, things aren't going to match. But, you know, in reality, a lot of the stuff would probably match with a lot of the other papers, and I might like it better. And, you know, it, in the long run, it needs to be used. I need to use this. This is a lot, you know, this is a lot of money of products sitting here that's been collecting dust. And it needs to, it needs to be used or it needs to go. So, um... You know, and the same thing with all this. I, golly, I've got paper here that I, I would be embarrassed to look at the date on it. You know, especially a lot of the stacks. Remember the nice big paper stacks? I don't even know if they make those anymore. But I know there's stuff in here that doesn't even appeal to me anymore that I need to just get out. Um, anyways, off of that subject. And here's my paper sticker binder, which I pretty much have the stickers organized pretty well in there. I don't know if I want to take those out and, you know, put them in my drawers over here that I'm thinking about moving things into. Because um, once again, I still totally think color and over here I've got things divided up by, you know, uh, floral and holiday holidays together and stuff like that. So that's another 
little spot that I just don't know. These are my, this is, this is my Betty Crocker recipe box that I picked up at the Goodwill um, a while ago because I couldn't resist because of these cards. I thought it would be loads of fun to, um, you know, alter these cards. I don't remember how many are in here. And my granddaughter got in here and pulled all the cards out. They were all organized, which I know is not a big deal because I'm not going to, you know, cook by them anyway. But, you know, I uh, just kind of shoved things back. But these are, oh gosh, what's the date on here? I think I looked once, 1975. <laughs> so, um... There are, oh my heavens, looks like there's about three, I know that's wrong, 359 cards? There's more than that in there. So this might be something fun for me to start is to do, you know, one of these, gosh, if I'd even just did one week, this, how many years is it going to take me to do all these? <laughs> um, but... This would be maybe a fun weekly video is a recipe card video. Um, you know, it's a bit bigger, obviously a bit bigger than an ATC. I forgot what these are, what size these are. I mean bigger than an iCAD. iCADs are 3 by 5 and this would be a bit bigger and have more creative space. Um, so anyways, that's just sitting down here taking up space because I don't know what else to do with it. So, that's where I am as far as my room goes. Just a minute, I'm going to stand back up. I'm sorry. Um, and I will check back in with you after I'm done. We'll see. I just, uh, you know, that that right there, that bin is, is the one that I just don't know what to do about. So, um, my brain is telling me to take all that stuff out and, you know, move, move things in there that, you know, I'll, I use. Um, the other thing my brain is telling me is to take all of these out and actually put all of my collage stuff over here because this is what I use all the time. I don't open these drawers half as much as I open those drawers. Um, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope, I don't know, I can't say this, if this helps anybody yet, um, because I haven't done anything, but this is, this is where I'm at. This is where I'm starting. And, um, I figured it would be better if I showed you where I began so that maybe after I show you the finished product, then it might give you some ideas on how to work in your own area so thanks so much for watching i hope you didn't get seasick with me moving around and uh yeah i will hopefully be posting another video within the next day or so with all of this finished take care everybody i'll talk to you later Bye bye